Well, the Ethiopian beauty continues. Well, not 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 that. I meant <coughs> the stuff behind that. Um, nothing like a a few hills to uh, bring some interest to the terrain. You sort of forget riding through Sudan and Egypt. You kind of forget how uh, how beautiful the world can be. <laughs> Not that those places were bad, but just, you know, really flat and quite samey-samey. Rolling into Bahedar now, and uh, this is the biggest city that we've seen so far in Ethiopia. Lots of uh, tree-lined boulevards and jacaranda. It looks quite uh, developed. As Dan keeps reminding us, this is also where the source of the Blue Nile is. Um, Very exciting. He's uh, ever so keen on the source of the Nile. One of his hot topics. Um, let's go find a hotel. taken a rest from the bikes today in Bahir Dar. We've taken a boat ride out to Lake Tana to have a look at a few different things. Apparently we can see some hippos, some monasteries and much to Dan's delight we can also see the source of the Blue Nile. Over to the left here, this is the priest of the temple. And it's been interesting watching the local Ethiopians interact with him and get blessed by him. It's a very ritualistic Christianity that they, that they practice here. So that was the first monastery. I'm going to go and have a look at a couple more. It's coming up to another island now. I believe there's another monastery here. This is our stop for the next monastery. It's very peaceful out here on the lake. Lots of wildlife apparently that we haven't yet seen. <laughs> this is the gates of the next monastery. Yeah, the gates of the monastery, but the roof is changed before the roof is touched the grass. Uh -huh. Right, so, so used to be a thatch roof, now it's... Now it's corrugated iron, as you can see. Yeah. It's <laughs> uh, 13th century as well. 14th century. <laughs> Thank you. This is a much bigger church monastery area. You can hear some very stout Orthodox Christians chanting over there and shoes off situation before we go inside. There's up on top of the um, church here you can see seven ostrich eggs which apparently signify God is looking down on everybody. Mary is a baby Jesus and he is Saint Mary, Jesus Christ, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. And Original paintings down, from the 16th century. He was a painter century. for this painting in the 16th century. He write his name here. He was a painter. The church itself dates from the 14th century. So this is the century. first section, chanting or singing place here. And the second, holy place, to take a place, holy communion. The third, the holy of holy, only allowed monk, deacon, no one inside, because there is a spiritual item inside. And the walls are compacted 
straw and mud. The 14th century doors, which is made from one piece of wood, 14th century doors, one piece of wood, which is original. But this changed only this one and this one. The rest one is the original, 14th century. This area here is the holiest of the holy. Only monks allowed inside this bit. Inside here, I mean, just up through here. Only monks are allowed in there. Something we don't often hear about is how all of the apostles were martyrs for their Christianity. This is the door into the holiest. Not allowed in there. This is a pretty interesting piece. The drum represents the small end of the Old Testament and the big end is the New Testament. And in between is the body of Christ which links the Old and the New Testament. And these um, ropes here represent the ropes with which he was beaten. Everything is symbolic in this church. It's pretty fascinating how there's so many more stories in Orthodox Ethiopian church that don't come from our Bible. Um, like we know about the Apocrypha and a few other books, but apparently there's 81, 81 books that they have. And a lot of these pictures are stories from those other books. They're all about the same people, so but they just expand a little bit on maybe stories that we have a bit of in the Bible. So uh, the John the Baptist, for example, there's a story around the corner here of how he was saved in the wilderness and how Elizabeth died and some animal came to save him and um, things like that. There's actually a funeral going on here. Pretty interesting. Everybody dresses in white for funerals and weddings. Oh, here we are. The famous source of the Nile. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dan? This is uh psyched right now. The moment he's been talking about since pretty much Sudan. <laughs> we have our first hippo sighting, but it's a little far away. <laughs> Just that lump that looks like a rock over there. Uh, he, he's probably stood up. Hey guys! Wow. 